let me pause for a moment because how I don't want to respond to this is crassly or quickly or lightly as if there's not a weightiness to this decision. For me to just sit here and go, yes, absolutely. I mean, that might be the correct answer, but it's the wrong approach. It's the wrong, because we're talking about people's lives here. And in many cases, kids are involved, things like this. Now, what I will say is this. I, I will say that as you come to faith in Christ, the demand of repentance and conforming our life to the gospel is the cross that we take up. And so what I would say is yes. I would say God would call you first before anything else to stop engaging in sexual behavior. Secondly, you're going to have to have the conversation with your partner that you are choosing to follow Christ. And yes, because it's not a marriage, I would say you need to come out of that relationship. It needs to be dissolved. But it may take some counsel from a pastor to help walk you through that process because of children being involved in, in, the, in some cases. And we wanna make sure that the emotional health of those children is taken into consideration. It's not just one day pack your bags, we're out of here. And so I would say in all of these situations, you need a pastor or a, a, a Christian counselor to help walk you through this process. But immediately you need to stop engaging in sexual intimate behavior because that's sinful behavior. And then you need to thoughtfully begin to dissolve that relationship because it's a, it's a sinful union. It needs to be dissolved. And you need to come out of that and to walk in the freedom that is in Christ. There's a terrific... Uh, woman who, whose name is Rosario Butterfield. She was a former Cornell PhD uh, professor in women's studies. She was one of the leading feminists of the 80s. She lived in a long-term uh, lesbian marriage. And her neighbors uh, were uh, a Presbyterian pastor and his wife. And she established a friendship with them because she was researching how evangelicals respond to the LGBTQ community. She testified in front of Congress about same-sex couples' medical rights. I mean, so she's an activist. And over the course of 100 dinners and thousands of conversations, she came to faith in Christ. And immediately she rejected she began to recognize that her relationship in this marriage was, was wrong that she was into. So she, she began to slowly uh, separate and then distance herself from that relationship. And she went all in on following Christ. She had to resign her position at Cornell University. She was a published PhD uh, tenured writer. And she said, I'm willing to give up everything to follow Jesus. And she did. And today, she's actually married to a man and they serve as Presbyterian pastors in Virginia, and they have adopted three or four children, and she's a prolific author and teacher. If you're looking for an incredible book, if you're looking for an incredible book, I think it's called The Seven Lies uh, America Believes or something, it's Rosario Butterfield. And you can find it on Amazon, she's brilliant, and her story is just really powerful. So that's what I would say to this situation. Thank you.